All right. Like I said, I'm not a YouTuber. So, I don't see nobody else doing a 14 liter EGR, so. Let me give it a shot. All right, what I'm gonna do here is I'm, I'm not gonna record me draining the whole cooling out because it takes about 15 minutes. But um, let me show you what, what's up here. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, y'all don't screw up and unplug the whole damn thing. Watch me do it right here. <laughs> screw it lightly until you feel the threads get loose. Look at it. Watch. Look at that. That's my oil pan there. Look at that. That's enough right there. Trying to make it, make it bleed, man. Coming off my hand, look. Look at that. Pure coolant out of my oil. Pure coolant. And to tell you the truth, I've been doing this about three weeks. I'll drain it out till the oil starts coming out. Reach up there, grab some coolant, and uh, fill it back up the reservoir and try to run a couple weeks, man. But I'm just getting so scared that uh, I don't want to spin a bearing. And I got that kit sitting in the living room, so I mean, it'd be stupid for me to spin a bearing. And I got the damn kit sitting in there to fix it. But look at that 14 liter EGR 2007 model. That right there is just the most heartbreaking damn thing I've ever seen in my life, man. That's just that's just bullshit. Nice truck. Look at that. Look at that. That's no oil. And you know what? My oil. Here's the thing. Now, keep in mind, my oil and coolant is not mixing on the stick like in a milky substance. You know. Look at that. See, I'm moving my finger, but I got to move it in the right area because you know, you get them threads loosen up. I don't want to turn that uh thing out too more, too much more. But here's the plan. I'm going to drain this out. I'm going to stop there. And I'll get it here in just a few minutes. But here's the plan. I'm going to drain this out. Okay. Put some coolant in it. Put some coolant in it. Crank it up. Drop this log trailer. Oh, let me get up from here first. 